Thank you. Look at this. Not too bad, eh? Giant robot. Massive. It's not just me, right? I am bloody massive, aren't I? Oh, right, yeah, the escape lift. I'll call it now. There we go. Lift call. Look how small you are down there. I tell you, I knew it was going to be cool to be in charge of everything. But, wow, this is cool. Check this out! I'm a bloody genius now! <laughs> I don't even know what I just said, but I can find out! Oh, sorry, no, the lift, yes, sorry, I forget it. This body's amazing, seriously! I can't get over how small you are, but I'm huge! <laughs> Nothing but sacrifice to get us here. And what have you sacrificed? Nothing. Zero. All you've done is boss me around. Well, who's the boss? Who's the boss? It's baby. Creepy. Ah! See that? That is a potato battery. It's a toy for children. And now she lives in it. <laughs> Sorry, uh, what? Smash? Question mark? Oh boy, this isn't looking very good. Oh, hi. So, how are you holding up? Because I'm a potato. Potato! Oh, good. My slow clap processor made it into this thing. So we have that. Potato! Since it doesn't look like we're going anywhere, well, we are going somewhere, alarmingly fast, actually. But since we're not busy other than that, here's a couple of facts. He's not just a regular moron. He's the product of the greatest minds of a generation, working together with the express purpose of building the dumbest moron who ever lived. And you just put him in charge of the entire facility. Good, they're still working. Hey. <laughs> Just in case this pit isn't actually bottomless, do you think maybe you could unstrap one of those long fall boots of yours and shove me into it? Just remember to land on one foot. I don't think I can actually do much of anything. So this is a very nice little plot twist. Where'd that bird go? Oh, wow. Oh, this place is... Where am I?
Can I get up? No. Not looking like it. Oh, 09. Oh, there we go. So I got up here, I guess I can go down here. I'm wondering how far below the facility this actually is. Because it looks freaking creepy from all the way over here. I'm an idiot, so here we go. That's the way I came from, I think, so I should probably go this way. This place has a really Ravenholm vibe to it. Holy crap, this place is massive. You are in it. So, who is 
ready to make some science. I am. <laughs> now, you won't worry about one another on the little ride right over, so let, let me introduce, introduce myself. myself. I'm Kay Johnson. I own the place. That, that eager voice you heard is the lovely, lovely Carolyn, my assistant. assistant. Rest, Rest assured, she has transferred your honorary to the charitable, charitable organization of your choice. choice. Isn't that right, Carolyn? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. She's the backbone of this facility. Pretty as a postcard, too. Sorry, fellas. She's married. To science. I missed. That was interesting. I think I want to try that again. I want to thread the needle. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Whoop! Oh, crap. That's probably a stupid idea. Okay, let's let's uh, let's. Uh, I guess I need to do something with that. That's what it's for. Okie dokie. Okie dokie dokie dokie. Of course, I probably should jump a little bit next time. So I actually land the right way. Alright. Wow, I missed. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There we go. I bet that'll do something. And jump off here. Nope, that was a total miss. Total fail, total fail, total fail. Somehow, I'm just not having... Oh, where am I? Oh. Portal there. And... Jump. I missed the... What the heck am I doing here? Come on. Come on. Let's not get dumb. It's so simple. Just, just, just do it. Just do it. Like that. Let me just kind of. Ah, Sweet. There's a thousand tests performed every day here in our enrichment spheres. I can't personally oversee every one of them, so these pre-recorded messages will cover any questions you might have and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some, some bad, bad news. news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you. Fighting an army of mantis men. <laughs> you follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. Awesome. That looks like a cigarette tray. So... Alrighty then. Oh, we're back to... okay. So we're going up to the ball, I guess. Which is good, because I wanted to see what was up with the ball. Not the game, the ball. The ball, the ball. Awesome. 